Some scientists manage to retain their faith, but I think science is our only route to knowledge, an idea that some people still find threatening. Nowadays, we all recognize the power of science. We look to science to explain the world, to solve our problems. But science also has its enemies. I myself was subjected for 15 years to a campaign of hatred and terror from animal rights activists because of the research that I did. Perhaps it's because science necessarily challenges the orthodox view of the day in order to make progress. And often that orthodoxy is fundamentally religious. Today, I'm professor of neuroscience here at Oxford. When the first colleges were founded in the 12th century, the Christian church was planting the seeds of science. Oxford's been a seat of learning for more than 900 years. Just 30 years after the Norman invasion in 1066, scholars were teaching here. Oxford became a center for discussion, for debate, for investigation, all of it sponsored and encouraged by the Christian church. The motto of the university says it all, really. Dominus Illuminatio Mea, God is my light. Believing that God had given humans the power of reason, the church championed the beginnings of science, assuming it would confirm their faith. This is the old school's quadrangle. It was built in the early 17th century and it was the focus of all the teaching of the university. It's, it's dominated by the divinity school. There's logic, metaphysics, grammar and history. There's mathematics, there's astronomy. And here, the school of natural philosophy. Natural philosophy was the 17th century word for science. Science being nurtured in an ecclesiastical environment as part of a religious and classical education. <laughs> 